March 25th, 2008 from Stratton Mountain, Vermont, where it is really cold. Hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, the first Infowar, Antigua's copyright threat and the virtualization of value is on ShellyPalmer.com this week. Check it out. Google submitted a letter to the FCC requesting that the white spaces between television channels be authorized for wireless internet signals. The letter stated that the most viable spectrum is unused or grossly underutilized and that white space internet services will offer ubiquitous broadband access to all Americans. Google believes that spectrum sensing technology can avoid any interference with television signals. It pledged free technical support for third parties trying to implement it. The DOJ approved the merger of Sirius and XM satellite radio services. The department argued that satellite radio is just one part of a much larger audio market, which is growing and includes internet radio, HD radio, the MP3 format, iTunes, and traditional AM, FM radio signals. It believes a combined XM Sirius will not be anti-competitive in the marketplace. The deal must still pass one final hurdle, though, FCC approval. ESPN has ended its participation in online ad networks, claiming the practice dilutes its brand and undermines its quality. The ad networks, which included specific media, sold inventory on ESPN sites along with thousands of other online destinations. ESPN will end all such agreements. Turner is reportedly considering a similar move. iMeme launched an application platform that will allow developers to tap into its growing media library. Applications will be able to integrate the site's video, music, and images to create sharing apps, recommendation engines, music quizzes, and more. iMeme will handle all licensing. The new platform increases iMeme's status as a multimedia-focused social network with forward-looking approaches to new media. MLB.com is getting ready for its season opener with enhanced video, near high def quality, new search and tagging capabilities, and a more video centric look. The site, which is an example of what you can do when you have government granted monopoly content, already boasts an undeniably successful video service. MLB.com users average 37 minutes of video per viewing, virtually the same average that baseball receives on traditional television. And that's Media Bytes from March 25, 2008. Visit ShellyPalmer.com for news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment. For Media Bites from Stratton, where it is just so cold. Hey, I'm Shelly Palmer. See you next time.